time tulikuwa nafanya ile inaitwa opinion polls na kufanya studies kuona how will we perform in this region or the other every time we did a poll that is gender based yani ya wanawake peke yake na wanaume kando tulikuwa tukifanya ya wanaume peke yake the vote between Raila and President Ruto was always 50-50 wanashindania moja ama mbili but any time you did that poll and had the women of Kenya alone voting there was a 10 point gap between President Ruto and Raila Odinga so i am right to say that mheshimiwa regathi gashagwa bila hao mama wewe unajua pale wale watu wangekuwa wamekuweka sahi ungekuwa kamiti kwa hivyo sahile unakuja kuwaongelesha waangalie vizuri na pia kama huko mbaya sana warudi nyumbani wakiwa salama eh? <laughs> sababu bila hawa kina mama tungekuwa minority hatungekuwa rais so hatungekuwa so many things tungekuwa tumekaliwa na wale watu wengine so we really appreciate what you guys did for us na ndio maana we will continue to support the gender inclusion question in all our conversations juzi tumekuwa katika mkutano na huyu chair lady mimi ningependa mumpigie makofi hawa chair person governor sisi in fact kwa hiyo mkutano after quoting that fact is when the amendment was made na kama mulifuata the grassroots uh, the UDA congress ambayo ilikuwa juzi they made a decision kwamba for every elective position kama chair atachaguliwa mwanaume vice chair lazima akuwe mama chair that point was pushed and successfully so by none other than governor Cecil Mbarire always reminding us unajua and that's a beauty na unajua mheshimiwa Ichungwa has said a, a fact and a point that i didn't know perhaps that's why it's always easy to convince us says that he is a minority in his house i want to also confirm before the uda congress that i am also a minority in my house i am a father of girls only so your two majority leaders eh uh, mambo yenu itakuwa rahisi sana because when i'm doing it i'm doing it on behalf of my own daughters ambaye one day they will be seated where you all of you are seated ndio so we give you our assurance our pledge kwamba any uh, decision that you take today as a congress of the uda women be assured that when it gets to parliament nobody will dare mess with it tutaipitisha vile mmeitisha be assured of that lastly your excellency is just to ask that as we go forward we continue to uphold the place of our women in leadership i agree with those that have argued and have said many times that in a contest between a man and a woman in any electoral contest the women always start from a very disadvantaged point wa mama wengi